Okay, she replied, trying to restrain her jubilation. Sounds cool. She changed clothes and rove on over to Ted's. The sudden excitement had pushed the talk with her parents to the very back of her mind and she neglected to leave a note. On the way over, Megan tried to wonder what this friend would be like. Ted's friends from high school were a mixed group, there were mindless jocks and complete jerks and a few legitimately nice guys. She hoped this guy would be nice. She also hoped he wouldn't already be taken. It was rather presumptuous of her to not even consider his status while making her plans. Then again, she reasoned, taken or not, she was entitled to a good time. A day of Vern badgering her eardrums had earned her that right. Ted answered the door with a comely blonde hanging on his shoulder. This had to be Anna. Megan took comfort in that fact that she wasn't dumped for someone uglier than she. But didn't that make Ted the least bit shallow? As Megan entered, a fourth face appeared. The friend was a bit shorter than Ted with crew-cut length hair and the beginnings of a beard. A looker he was not, but Megan tried to remain non-judgmental.